you balance a two-stage rocket? That's what we're going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Occasionally we get a customer that asks a question, how do you balance a two-stage rocket? Now this is a trick question because basically the answer is this, exactly the same as if the rocket was a single-stage rocket. We balance it just the same. Um, in order to balance a rocket, we need to know two things about the rocket. One of them is the center of gravity, and that's easy to find because you can just balance the rocket on your finger like that, and where it balances would be the center of gravity. The second piece of information we need to know is where is the center of pressure? Now, the center of pressure is a lot harder to determine, and actually what we're going to use is software to look at where that center of pressure is because that's the fastest, most easiest way to find it. So you're gonna need some software. Uh, we sell a software called RockSim, but there's others available on the internet. Um, we like RockSim best because we think it does things faster and easier and it has more features. But whatever you use, you need to know the center of pressure. So here is a rocket. And what I'm showing here is a side view of this rocket. It's called the SkyMetra. And we can see the two points. The first one is the center of gravity, and that's the balance point. And you can see, you know, where I balanced it on my finger. That's pretty close, but it's not exact because there's something, a third thing that we need to know. Um, and then we have the center pressure, and that's this symbol back here. Um, it's basically a circle inside of a circle, and then the inside circle is colored through. Um, it could be any color. It doesn't have to be red like this one in here, uh, but it's just a circle inside of a circle. And that's the center of pressure, and that's where all the aerodynamic forces balance. So the aerodynamic forces are lift and drag, and you don't have either one unless the rocket is moving through the air. Um, so until it moves through the air, all the only force you have is the force of gravity. Um, so what we need to know is where that center of pressure is. Um, and the software is going to tell us. But when you do this, here's the third thing that's very important. The rocket must have rocket motors in it. And more than that, they have to be brand new rocket motors, never been fired. Because if you look down inside... Um, you can see the propellant in that one and this one right here. If you pull it out, you can see that it's filled up. Um, the, the clay goes all the way to the top. The, the propellant goes all the way to the top. Um, and the reason we want a fresh, brand, brand new motor is because they weigh the most. So basically, a new motor is heavier and it's going to move the center of gravity back. So um, if I balance this rocket here on my finger right now, it will balance like right there. And I'll put a center of gravity sticker on there just to show you where it's balancing. And it was balancing right approximately right there. Okay. Um, according to the software, the center of pressure is right there. But when we put in a rocket motor... You can see now when I rebalance it, the center of gravity moved back to here. Um, and that is important um, because in order for the rocket to be stable, the center of gravity must be in front of the center of pressure. And when you have a two-stage rocket, again, you're going to put them together and you're going to put a fresh motor in it and you're going to balance it and the, the new center of gravity has to be in front of the center of gravity. Now, a two-stage rocket has two center of pressures, one with just the top stage alone, and then the second one when the two stages are brought together. Um, and you'll have to use the software to find this. So right now, if I look at the software, let me put some rocket motors in here. Um, 
Okay, so here on this rocket, I have the two rocket motors, and they're colored in brown. Um, and here's the center of gravity where it balances with the two motors. And if I, I can balance it here on my finger, and it's pretty close. Um, so that's right there. And then here's the center of pressure with two stages together. And if I remove the bottom stage, you'll see that both the center of gravity and the new center of pressure move forward. So you have to know it, both of those center of pressure because you have to check it two times. Once at launch, and then once while the rocket is in the air. So basically, that is the process of balancing any rocket, is knowing where the center of gravity and the center of pressure are. The center of gravity you're going to get easily by just balancing it on your finger, and the center of pressure you're going to get from software like Roxem. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.